Good morning from uh, Jalan Dano Tamblingen here in Sanua. It's about quarter past six. Just out for a walk, see if I can find a coffee somewhere. Pretty sure I'll be out of luck. It's not generally many places that open early along here. Um, especially not this hour. I only know one that's a fair way up here that has one, which is Cafe Badu Jin Bar. So, see if we can get all the way up to there. In saying that, there's a fair bit of traffic out and around at this hour of the morning. Uh, a lot of building going on still around Sanur. I think Sanur is an area in Bali that's about to really take off. They're about to open one of the biggest malls in Southeast Asia, apparently, just up the road here, which we'll go past in the next couple of days and have a look at. Hopefully it's meant to open next Friday, which is the day we're leaving, but hopefully we can catch it open before we leave and have a look inside and see what it's like. They've been building it for about four or five years now, um, come to a grinding halt during COVID, like most things did. But yeah, but apparently it's nearly time to open it, so that'll be something different in Sanua, because Sanua's generally been a quiet area of Bali, so when you open one of the biggest malls in Asia there, supposedly, uh, surely it'll draw people in from all over the place, all over Bali anyway, so, which is probably not quite a good thing, um, because we come to Sanua because we like it, because it's a lot quieter than, say, what it is in Kuta, Seminyak, Changu, them sort of areas. I could probably find a coffee here at Alpha Mart, but I'm not quite sure what quality it would be. So maybe we'll keep going a little bit down here. A little bit further. Maybe this place is open, not sure. Indonesian specialty coffee. I don't know. Indomart, new place over there getting built, bike rental, let's keep going. This hotel looks like it's closed. Oh, nice no, cars in there. No doubt it'll all get renovated at some stage. So yeah, it's not a lot that goes on. Obviously, early morning in Bali, most tourists are still in bed except me, who gets up early. Becky's certainly still in bed. Uh, been here a few times. The bread basket, it's really nice. Actually, has Australian-style pies, so that's something that you feel you want while you're on holiday in Bali. You can. Uh, Certainly go there and grab a meat pie. This place over here is new since we last here. Niji Gori shaved ice, so I'll have to go in and have a look at that place. Plenty of little supermarkets and stuff along here, like Coca Mart, Alpha Mart, Circle K. So we've been to a lot of these places in the past to eat for Keta. In here it's pretty popular, even though they've got the gates up because it's at night time. They do a good happy hour in there. This is one of the ways that you can get to the beach here in Sanua. Straight down here. Beach is probably 300 metres away. So we'll keep on keeping on. For Australians, you may notice a Commonwealth Bank ATM over there. I've used that one before. Cafe Smorgas just here. They do good coffee and cake. 
getting down towards an area now that we know well. We've stayed uh, down this way a few times. At a little homestay called Hotel Jackie, which is really nice. Costs about $45, $50 Australian a night. You get a nice little room, got a pool, breakfast is included. They come and do up your room each day. Uh, this place just here, Nori, Bali, Sushi and Asian Kitchen. Fantastic if you're ever in Sanua. Definitely call in. There's another little place on the other side of the road here called Wurung Rainbow. You can see it there, it's a little hole in the wall between the tattoo joint and the leather goods place. Fantastic local eatery. There's probably only four tables in there. You get jammed in there like sardines, but uh, the food they serve makes it well worth it. So still so far, found no coffee, so looks like I am going to make it to Cafe Watu Jimba down here, which is not far away now, maybe a couple hundred metres. And then we can have one of my favourite coffees in Bali. So another little quickie mart that's opened. Plenty of masseuses here. Guardian Pharmacy, like Australia. Been there a few times to buy bits and pieces, band-aids, ointments, things like that. So just coming up on uh, Atasendana which is the main supermarket here in the main street of Sanua. It's obviously not opened at the moment, but um, it's like a two-story department store that has a supermarket in it. You can also buy heaps of souvenirs. There's a bookshop, clothes shops, massage, you name it, it'll be in there. Plenty of places selling mobile phone SIM cards. We generally get ours off a guy called Andy Awesome who comes to your hotel, installs it for you. Now, this place here, PT Monica, uh, I'm not going to hope to pronounce the last name, but if you want to change money in Bali, come here. This is definitely one of the most trustworthy places to change money in Bali. Uh, for those who don't know, there's some unreputable <laughs> money changes in Bali and if you see an exchange rate that looks too good to be true well it's definitely too good to be true so definitely go to that place there they're always up front and very honest with their money changing so here's the Hotel 101 we've uh, been there they do an all-you-can-eat buffet so we're going to go down that street there next couple of days there's a couple of good woorungs down here so Okay, here we are, Cafe Watu Jimba. No one opened just yet. I'm sure they'll be opened very shortly. This is like my favourite place to do coffee. Anyway, I'm going to wait until they open and grab a coffee.